Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this is about PES University in Bangalore and I'm going to compare the placements for last three years for RBC, BMS and PES University. This is the main campus of PES University which is based out of uh, Panchankri Ring Road and then there is second campus in Electronic City. So short campus to here of both the campus first. Admission for 2025 BTEC programs is through two entrance modes. One is the J means, uh, and the second one is the KSET. So 45% of all seats will be through KSET exam, and rest will be through J means and the management quota fee structure. So if you are specifically get, getting into through the J mains admission process, you need to have a very good J mains marks. BTEC offers are like CSC, Computer Science Engineering and CSC with AIML. So those two branches are the you know, most premium branches. So their J mains based quota fees will be like uh, 5 lakh rupees per year. And if you are going for electronics and communication engineering ECE branch, then J means quota base fees will be around 14.5 lakh rupees per annum. So that will be little 50,000 less. And if you are going for the rest of the branches, right, which is about mechanical engineering or electrical and electronics or uh, the bit biotechnology. So those are the core branches and the J means fees will be then 4 lakh rupees per year. So 50,000 further less. So three uh, brackets are there. And also 20% seats are available through a management quota or it's called high fee category, right? Or the NRI sponsored student side. Right? For those, the management quota fees will be approximately 48 to 50 lakhs for four year uh, program. So now let's talk about the placement. So, so highest salary was uh, 65 lakhs per annum. So that was quite good. And total around 350 plus companies visit. And there were total 1500 plus offers last year. And total internship offers were around 1250 plus. The type of companies which visit are like uh, global and multinational companies. Some of the IT companies you can find in the campus are related with HP, IBM, Intel, uh, Intuit, Akamai, uh, SAP Labs and all right. And then the company from the consulting side which is like Delight you can find on the campus. Few more you know from the automobile scape space like you know Mahindra or Tesco or Siemens are also. So again this is the data which has been taken from M NIRF ranking framework document right. So it shows the last three years performance of each college. So let's first see the MSRIT placements right and if you see in 2022 passing batch right 1124 students were eligible for placement and out of that 897 students got placed which is quite good close to 900 students got placed with a median salary of 6.15 lakhs so median salary was quite low so the number of placements were good in 2023 which is a tough year you know it showed a good improvement in the placement median salary you can see at least from 6.15 to 8 lakhs right which is good jump right of 2 lakhs approximately in the median salary number of placed students were around 841 and if you see the toughest year which has happened is 2024 which very tough year in every college even IITs have got the bad placements. Uh, 1075 students were graduating in the minimum time and out of which 787 got placed. So the number of placed students reduced significantly by 70 to 18 less number of students got placed and the median salary dropped by small amount which is from 8 lakhs it dropped to 7.5 lakhs. So in the recession times that is not the bad trend the median salary has dropped by 50,000 rupees. 
Now let's compare it with the other college. So 7.5 lakhs was MSRIT. Now if I see BMS College of Engineering, right? In 2022 batch, around approximately similar number of students were uh, graduating 1046 and 864 of them got placed. So number of students placed is good, similar to MSRIT. But the median salary was 8.24 lakhs compared to 6 point something for B MSRIT. So this has definitely edge. In 2023 passing batch, the number of students graduated were more 1344 placements also increased to good of extent 952 students got placed and the median salary with that big number of placements 952 is 9 lakhs so that is a good imp improvement in the median salary also and if I see in 2024, which is again the tough one of the toughest year in the engineering placements, right? 1417 students were eligible to get placed out of which 924 got placed. So the core lower branches students would have faced a big problem, uh, but median salary dropped by just 50,000. So from 9 lakhs median salary, median salary has come to 8.5 lakh. But still, it is a very big median salary and a good placement trend BMSE has shown compared to MSRIT. Now let's talk about the RV College of Engineering, RVCE placements, right? So again, let's start with the 2022 batch passing, right? 1062 students, similar number of students eligible, 791 close to 800 students got placed. At that point of time, it was very close with BMSC, 8.5 lakhs. BMSC was 8.25 lakhs. So both the colleges were almost similar median salary. In 2023 passing batch, almost uh, 1072 students eligible, 810 got placed. So similar number, not much difference, but there is a big jump in the median salary. Now RV College median salary is 10 lakhs, which is 1.5 lakhs increase. And in 2024, which was again the toughest year in terms of placements, out of 1087 students eligible, 831 got placed. So total number of students placed is still maintained in the tough year. And the median salary is no fall. There is no fall. In fact, there is a jump of 50,000 in the median salary in tough year like this. So median salary is now 10.5 lakhs. So you can see two consistent year they have crossed 10 lakhs median salary and the number of place students is 831 that means around 415 students have got more than 10.5 lakhs which is as look looks to be like a placement at NIT. Now the same placement details are also available for PES University on their website which is pes.edu backslash nirf2025 you can see university engineering PDF is available. So now if you see from PS University what they are showing for last three years for batch starting 2022 like right? there were total 1360 students who were eligible for the placements and out of the eligible students 1184 around 1184 students got placed with the median salary of 7.5 lakhs. So that was 22 passing batch. The next year if you see uh, in uh, 2023 passing batch out of 1445 students approximately 1199 or 1200 students got placed uh, which is similar figure and median salary or also marginally increased by 50,000 rupees which is up to 8 lakhs which is in 2023. But surprisingly if you see in 2024 right which shows that 1567 students were eligible and out of those eligible students around 1323 of them got placed with the median salary of 12.47 lakh which is 12 and a half lakhs which is a big jump of 4 and a half lakh median salary so uh, this is the latest update and which has come on the website so uh, i know i'm not sure if this is possible that uh, in a bad market like uh, 2024 when all the colleges including iits have faced a bigger challenge in terms of placement right and they have um, their median salaries have not increased so much and, and earlier you saw rv uh, the median salary increased by just 50,000, right? So again, I will ask the student from uh, PS University to comment that if these figures are real or it's a, like a exaggeration and uh, that is what it is provided in the NRF document. So that's all in this particular video. Thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates. Take care and bye.